David Mullinax, and I'm going to be showing you how to operate and maintain an autoclave machine today. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open it up, and we're going to fit our pack loosely into the machine. We don't want them snug at all. We want them all to have room to breathe. So we put them in here, and we're going to shut the door like so. Then we're going to choose the appropriate appropriate time. Ours has been uh, already set up to be able to just press packs, uh, which I would press. And then our machine is actually one that automatically reduces the pressure. Um, so what it does after it runs the full cycle is it's going to pop open halfway just like that. And it's going to allow the pressure to reduce and it's going to allow the contents to dry completely. And it's actually set up in time to where it does that on its own. If it wasn't like that, you would just mimic the behavior. And when it was done, you would just pull to where it's just open just a little bit so it can reduce the pressure and you allow the contents to dry completely. On, on this machine, uh, to refill the water if needed, right now it's currently at the level that is necessary. Uh, you, you look right here and if it's at the green, it's good to go, but just to demonstrate how you would do that, because sometimes it does need refilling, ours just has this little area right here where you put the distilled water and you want to always make sure that that is at a proper level. So I'm going to go ahead and start the machine. So we can get these going just by pressing the packs button right here. And start. And that's how you operate and maintain an autoclave machine.